while space traveling might be an exciting idea. You should know that there are a number of things you can't do in space that you can do on Earth. Now, let's have a look at 10 things you simply can't do while in space. Number 10. Using pens. To put it simply, a standard ballpoint pen requires gravity for the ink to flow properly and hence can't work in the microgravity environment of outer space. You can attempt to write with pens, but lack of gravity will make the writing smudgy and unreadable. There is a special kind of pen called the astronaut pen that will work in space and was designed by NASA contractors for use with the Apollo program in the 1960s. Legend has it that NASA spent close to 80 million US dollars for developing the astronaut pen. However, some counter theories claim that the money for developing the pen never came from NASA and that the pen was developed by a private company and sold quite cheaply to them. Number 9. Burping Carbonated Drinks Lack of gravity means lack of buoyant force, which essentially means that there's no pushing gas bubbles up and out of carbonated drinks in space. So even when the carbon dioxide bubbles are inside the tummies of the astronauts, they actually just become stagnant inside sodas and beers. Thus, while in space, you'd be very uncomfortable drinking carbonated beverages. Fortunately, an Australian company has developed a special drink, Vostok Four Pines Stout Beer, which is weak in carbonation. Whether it will be safe for consumption is still being researched. Number 8. Spreading Pollution According to the Outer Space Treaty developed by the United States and Soviet Union back in the 60s, you simply cannot contaminate space or other celestial bodies. So if there was any grand scheme to dump the ever-growing pile of waste into space, then it has to be shed because it's illegal. The treaty specifically warns any country from contaminating outer space with their own trash, and there might be severe penalties for anyone who dares to follow this plan. Number 7. Doing Laundry You can't do laundry in space because water is too precious, especially in outer space, to be wasted in washing your clothes. On board the International Space Station, there is no washer or dryer, so astronauts either wear their clothes for long durations or discard them when they're done with them. Usually, astronauts carry a considerable amount of undies in space. It has been stated that a crew of six aboard the ISS goes through 900 pounds of clothing each year in space. Number 6. Emailing Word Documents Yes, the International Space Station has an internet connection and astronauts are allowed to use it, but with a slight warning. Since 2006, emailing Word Documents as attachments has been forbidden in space. This happened after NASA shared their apprehension about the security risk posed by .doc email attachments to official computers. Microsoft had even issued a security advisory which stated that vulnerability in Microsoft Word could allow remote code execution. Simply put, it means that the .doc files could pose a serious threat to a place as remote as the International Space Station as well. Number 5. Recognizing Flower Smells When grown in space, flowers give out different aromatic compounds and hence smell quite differently. This happens because the oils that bear fragrance in flowers are greatly influenced by environmental factors like temperature, humidity, and the flower's age while in space. Flowers are very delicate and hence it's unsurprising that microgravity would affect their oils production as well. On the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1998, a special, out-of-the-world fragrance was flown in, made by an assortment of roses. It was called Overnight Sensation. Number 4. Getting Pregnant While you may actually get pregnant if you really wanted to in space, experts are strongly against it. Gravitational hurdles aside, Intergalactic radiation may cause a serious threat to the conception of a fetus in space. Scientists have also stated that the radiation in space emit energetic particles that can smash DNA and apart from increasing cancer rates, may also cause genetic damage in the babies who would then be born infertile. Through various tests on space-traveling rodents, it has been said that the sperm count drops and egg-producing ovary cells waste away in microgravity. Number 3. Whistling 
Try as you might, you will not be able to whistle in space, even while on a spacewalk. The whole technique of whistling requires air, a lot of it. The air pressure in a spacesuit is only 4.3 pounds per square inch, and normal atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi. Simply put, there are not enough air molecules blowing by your lips to make a sound, or those huge rapid vibrations required for whistling in space. Number 2. Having Sex As of yet, there are no confirmed reports of astronauts ever having sex in space, and it's unlikely that this steamy activity will be performed there anytime soon because it can really be uncomfortable. Experts say that because blood flow in space is negatively impacted by gravity, getting sufficient blood flow to the male genitals would be almost impossible. Vaginal wetness would be an issue as well, because the fluid will just pool at the location of secretion. Number 1. Crying It is likely that on several occasions while in space, astronauts feel sentimental and want to cry. That, unfortunately, is not possible in space because of microgravity. You can produce tears in space, but the fact is that the teardrops would remain in your eye and would stick as a liquid ball. The tears can't flow downward in the way they do on Earth because the moisture generated has nowhere to go. Please click the subscribe link below to get updates on new videos from us.